Hello, my name is Jay, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mike Elephant Robotics Mike Hobot, which is a small modular robot that you can have for your desk. Now, here it is right here. I've got it, and uh, this is what it looks like. The range on this is rather small. It's a smaller robot, and it doesn't particularly um, come with any attachments. You have to buy all the attachments separately. So you come over here. We open up some attachments here. So you've got, like... You know, a gripper and stuff, all of that. Um, and it uses the same foundations and stuff as Lego does with all the little, um, you know, connector pieces. So I, I, I received this product from the company um, uh, actually a couple months ago. I was really excited to make a video on it because I thought it'd be cool to have, you know, my camera mount on one of these guys and actually use them. The only, the only minor problem is um, when I first set this up, uh, the little Raspberry Pi that's in here that costs about $50 um was having some issues it couldn't recognize that there was it was attached it said it was missing like the robot arm or something it was had some weird errors so when i uh when i set this up and stuff um i got it working and uh it couldn't recognize that there was a robot arm on here now keep in mind they sent me two they sent luckily they sent me two um funny enough though they sent me a Raspberry Pi version, and they were supposed to send two Raspberry Pi versions, but they sent me one of their actual, like the other versions, regular My Cobot. Um, so this will be a review of both. Um, but interestingly enough, um, I get this all set up, um, and uh, I plug in the monitor here. But funny enough is when you plug this in, um, I don't have any video output at the moment. Um, basically, I was in the process of going through, you know, had this problem come up and couldn't actually. Um, get the robot arm, this, at least this one, to get, to get it working at all. Um, so that's that's something that happens. Normally we have issues in the tech industry, something bad can happen, and you know you, the products come back. That actually happens quite a lot. Um, as a reviewer, it's kind of your job to make sure you contact the company and see what they had to say, because part of the things happen, and it's important that you contact the company. So I contact the person that contacted me about this, and they referred me to some, well, they spent like two weeks talking to me, sending a message, back and forth every night so it was like one message a day um that's what they did and then they sent me to another person and that went on and on um they told me to like reinstall the firmware which i had the firmware done um all this stuff so basically i went for about two months trying to get customer support for this took a while and i was like they're like okay finally send it back and then um within like oh two weeks or something they're like oh yeah they started commenting on all my actual youtube videos saying about how like we weren't able to get the collaboration, please send the stuff back, or we will chart, you know, file, you know, pursue this farther or something like that. They said this cost all 2,000, some 500, some dollars, and they'd give me like a 20% discount if I wanted to keep it. For the record, they sent me broken stuff. K kind of, these cost like 500, $600 each, tops. First off, these are Raspberry Pis in here with some servo motors and some sensors. That is, horrendously overpriced i understand it's a robot arm and i understand the market and a lot of them are overpriced but still to 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 so i'm sending them back and i'm mailing them back at my own expense do i mind you because even when they were broken the company does not want to actually pay for the return shipping um and i and i'm not trying to sound full of myself here but as a content creator you know the guy that's supposed to be making the review in my opinion opinion i think that the customer service should be the best i think that customer service should be you know universally standard across everyone every your content creator should get the same customer service that a user does at least make sure you're trying when you're going to be representing yourself to a content creator's audience and i just don't think that's what happened here the the customer support i think is the worst i've ever received on anything this was and then just the response from the company, because I didn't make the video in the promised time, I'll make the video in the promised time. They just wouldn't have liked it because the product would, would have been broken. And I, I don't, that's kind of what I feel like, and I kind of feel betrayed. I kind of feel a little stabbed in the back. And I just think that like, I wanted to make this review video, not post it on the main channel, but post it on the first video, as the first video on the dedicated review channel, because I honestly cannot recommend this company at all. Um, I've had other 
companies that I've worked with, where at least with like Rotrix, for example, a company that I rated their robot arm horrendously, they at least were very nice and pleasant the entire time. And I didn't even rate it that harshly, but the customer service that I did get from them when I asked questions and something I thought was broken was not, and I was able to get it resolved, I at least mentioned that. And I think that that is something that we should point out, is that this is $600. For example, the Rotrix arm, which I still wouldn't recommend you buy, it was like, what, $600, $700 for something that's larger, bigger, and has a much more expansive and inclusive ecosystem, which I felt like was just a lot better than any of these attachments, which are basically ripping off Lego. So please, in my opinion, I would not buy this. This, I would not pay any more than $100 for an entire system here, because what you can do with this is very limited. These robot arms do not are not able to hold much. And whereas like for something with like the Rotrix Dex arm, which at least is geared towards being for creators, something that wants like 3D printing, laser engraving, all this stuff, it can do a lot. This is very limited. And the customer support is to say to say to say it lightly, abysmal. And that is my opinion. Um I did not post this video on my main channel because I do not feel that it is something that would go well with that content, but it definitely is a great start for this channel, which will be dedicated reviews. I am very upset that this didn't work out, but I was also extremely disappointed in the product that I received. And had I made the review when I was said it would, without pursuing customer support to follow and meet the deadlines that the company wanted, I felt like would not have been what they wanted either. They would have thrown a fit and been like, why didn't you contact us? So I feel kind of frustrated as I mail this back, which will probably be roughly, according to them, this is $3,000 worth of stuff. Um, I probably should ensure that as well. So I'm a little frustrated and a little disappointed that this is kind of what it came to. Overall, please don't buy this product. I really, I really do think it's kind of junky. Um, and the experience that I had was also horrible. Um, so that's my opinion. Um, but it is kind of frustrating that that's what it came to, to be honest. I don't know why custom, why in anyone's right mind, you would wait like two or so months before suggesting the bring to return the product. That's fine. I'm returning the product. You guys can have it. This is some junk.